All right, everybody, I know you've been waiting for me to do this. So there's several things I got to talk about, and I'm going to do it fast. And now everything that I've started, the heater's bothering me, and now the television is too loud for me. Hold on. One second. Broke my neck. Okay, so that's done deal. Got this new camera and uh, it's got a damn light on it. And you know when people don't like lights beaming in their face, so um, I really don't like this light. So I turned off the light to see how good this little light works, and apparently it works. So um, now the heater's too loud for me. Now, now it's just us. Okay, there's several things I want to talk about. One thing I'm tired of saying is these people rushing to, they're rushing and they're running to go uh, obtain these children who are misplaced in Haiti. I just want to say one thing to these people out there running to go get little black kids. They're not puppies. They're not toys. And as soon as you don't feel sorry for them, what you gonna do? You gonna do what you did with the last blacks you brought here? The invasion of Haiti continues. A lot of people wonder why I'm not all, oh Haiti, go rescue the people in Haiti. Well, it's sad. It's a worldwide tragedy. What happened in Haiti, I don't wish on me or anybody, but break it down to the real reality of things. We can only help as much as we can afford to help. And I am the proponent, I'm the, the number one proponent of looking through and looking past and looking beyond myself. And what I see in this situation with Haiti is an opportunity for the United States of America to take over and invade a country that does not need us to govern or to control it. Yes, people are dying in the streets. Yes, but where was all this attention and help when Katrina was jumping off? Hmm? Where was all this attention and help when some things were jumping off in Russia? What happened when China, when they had the large earthquake in China? Um, you look at the devastation. And all I see is opportunists. I see the opportunity to take a region of the world that we don't have our foot in. I see the opportunity to infiltrate and recreate in our own image a situation to where we would not have the opportunity to. And I also pointed out something to another friend of mine. How do we know that this disaster has not been created and or fabricated by man? I said it. I have said it. There's these people out here with their conspiracy theories and everything, but there's nobody with a conspiracy theory on this one. A friend of mine pointed out China was talking a lot of shit not too long ago. And all of a sudden, China had that large earthquake. And then China stopped talking shit. Then someone also pointed out that China believed that the United States of America created this earthquake with the so-called harp device, or the harp weapon, or the harp weather instrument. Thus taking all these intangibles and placing them together, what would be the greatest thing for a conquering nation to do? You bait and switch. You change the focus. We're begging for health care here in America. But we see that these people need health care. And every time I watch the news, they're saying, oh, these people are dying from the basics. And then they threw it back to like the 1600 battlefield. You know the battlefields in the 1600s where you got this group of guys over there and a group of guys over there and they'll run and hit each other and fighting and all that. Now let me show you the connection. Now in the 1600s when they battled and fought like that, the doctors on the sides 
they would just amputate. They are talking about amputating people in the streets of Haiti. You get your arm crushed, cut it off. So, what good is all our doctors are doing if they're running over there and all they're doing is cutting limbs off people? I mean, I truly want these people to get help. I truly want this to be a real event. I just don't want to look at this and see another conquering. Another conquering of a people. Another group of people slated to, to be Americanized just for the situation, just for the opportunity, just for the landmass. If you really truly want to help these people, help the people, the people. Go there and help the people. Don't send your money through bureaucracy, through through some group of people. Garen Doe, they're going to get the stuff. That, come on, man. You know how this is going to work out to go have... Look, put it like this. We won't let people from Haiti come here when they hop on rafts like uh, the people over in, uh, oh my, Cuba, like the Cubans. Cubans come here on rafts and Elian Gonzalez, the government wants them and you know what I mean? Haitians come here on rafts and we send their ass back. You see what I'm saying? If there ain't no love for Haiti in the beginning, why all of a sudden they got newfound respect for the Haitian people? You see what I'm saying? There's different levels of what's acceptable. If these people ran from their country here for shelter, we wasn't going to take them. We won't even, we don't have nothing to do with Haitians. But now, there's a great opportunity for uh, face, to, to, to save face, to look good. There's a good opportunity to appear like you give a damn about a group of people. I said it. The only reason people over in Haiti is to make themselves look better. There is food sitting in the air, air at the airport just sitting there. There's, there's supplies just sitting there. See what I'm saying? If you truly want to do something, then something will be done. Don't send a bunch of stuff that's going to be in crates and boxes four years from now and being sold by the so-called warlords to the people. All I know is this. The way I feel about certain situations and certain things, I look a little deeper. If it's truly to go there and help these people, then fine, I'm all for it. But all I see is an opportunist taking over another country. You don't have to destroy it like Iraq. You don't have to pretend like it's Afghanistan. You send in the harp, you level out 75% of the buildings, you go in with your phony ass aid, you prop up the government and your image, and then you bail the fuck out, and you leave them to hang like they always do. You can give your promises, and you can give your words, but they don't mean shit without actions behind them. If these people will truly get the true help they need, we will send in everything they need. We will make sure everything gets to where it goes instead of letting shit sit at the airport. I said it. You can be fooled by some of the people, but don't let yourself get fooled by everybody. Shit. Hemorrhoid cream. Keeps my face silky smooth, baby. But, um, other than that, I like to take this time to give my condolences to the nation of Haiti. And I like to welcome in the new country that will be called New Haiti when that time comes. So, to avoid anything else, I can't finish my Vegas stuff because I can't find a video camera. It's completely gone someplace. And I'm looking for a new camera to go with my all new built studio. And you will see something new on our march to a thousand. 